If Ben Franklin were still alive today, probably nothing would please him more than to see his 300th birthday announced in electric lights all over this city. But today, getting power from where it is made to where it is needed is more challenging than ever. The 2006 Bauer Award for Achievement in Science recognizes Narain Hingorani, a man whose work will make sure that those lights will be burning bright for at least another 300 years. Electric power is a vital part of our everyday lives, a fact that most of us take for granted. But Narain Hingarani has dedicated his life to making sure that we get the electricity that we need, while also making electric transmission systems more efficient, more flexible, more reliable. The value of electricity is, comes from the fact that electricity can be converted to different forms without which uh, we would not uh, have life at all. As a young electrical engineer in India in the 1950s, Hingarani's first job was bringing electricity to rural villages. And it was very hard to do that because you were essentially given a support staff like five, seven people and say, here's the village, here's the substation, go do it. The work was rewarding. But Hingarani decided he wanted to work with larger power systems. So he left India to pursue graduate studies at the University of Manchester in England. By the time he finished his PhD in 1961, he had already co-authored his first book, which was also the first to focus on high-voltage direct current transmission, or high-voltage DC. The book would go on to become a classic in electrical engineering. But in the short term, it opened the door for Hingarani to move to the United States. Portland, Oregon, uh, as utility called Bonneville Power Administration. The chief engineer read my book and came and said, you, would you like to come and work with us and we need your help. At Bonneville Power, Hingarani applied his expertise to develop a long distance high voltage DC transmission system that would become a benchmark of the electric power industry, vastly improving the reliability and efficiency of energy delivery to businesses and homes across the country while lowering costs to the consumer. But Hingarani's biggest contribution was yet to come. In the 1970s, he joined the Electric Power Research Institute in California. My job was to create something new, something exciting, something advanced, and then it clicked. We really have no control over power transmission. Power plants were able to control and monitor the level of electricity they produced. But once that high voltage electric current left the plant and went out into the vast electricity grid, it was like water added to a raging river that flows uncontrolled from one place to another. Hingarani created and advanced a new concept that he called the Flexible AC Transmission System, or FACTS, that can control and manage that flow. He can control it almost instantaneously, because electricity is uh, it's very fast, the speed of light almost, so you can't just uh, take your time. FACTS conditions electric power as it flows through the system by sending it through a series of high-speed controllers and substations, making the power flows more stable and preventing fluctuations in power or even surges that could lead to blackouts. FACTS is now used in the US, Brazil, Australia, South Africa, and Indonesia and continues to grow one power system at a time. As in any power business, it takes a long time. It's lifetime work because it takes 20 years, 30 years before the technology is established and accepted. After making his mark on high voltage power transmission, Hingarani went on to develop a lower voltage counterpart known as custom power, which can be used to closely control the delivery of electricity for use in factories, research facilities, and laboratories where a disruption of even a few milliseconds is enough to bring automated production to a screeching halt, wasting time, money, and resources. There are many, many applications, uh, high-tech biotechnology and communications uh, infrastructure where you cannot afford to have uh, not only outage, but even voltage dips. Custom power, flexible AC transmission, and high voltage DC systems combine to vastly improve power system infrastructure around the world. As the demands of technology and industry continue to become more and more complex, Hingarani's innovations will become increasingly vital to advancing the standard of living around the globe. And along with his remarkable achievements as an electrical engineer and scientist, Hingarani has established a role as a leader in the industry 
and as an ambassador for his new technologies. I have enough sense to not say my job is just to develop new technology and leave it at that. That's been my nature, I guess, uh, to think about big picture and, and then find a way to make it happen. The 2006 Bauer Award and Prize for Achievement in Science is presented to Narayan G. Hingarani for the conceptualization and pioneering advancement of the flexible AC transmission system and custom power in electric power systems and for outstanding technical contributions in high voltage direct current technology which have enhanced the quality and security of the electric power system.